Hello, this is Mox 2009. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to track a clip using Mocha and then import the corner data into After Effects so we can put an image where this clock face is. If you hear any banging in the background, it's just the neighbours arguing. Don't know what they're arguing about, but it turns out it's not his. So apart from that it's all good. Right, first thing we need to do, bring your clip in that you want to track. Highlight it and click track in mocker. Then you can just choose which one you want to do it. Overwrite if you've already done it and want to do it again. But I've already done it so I'm going to open Mocker Pro. Now, because the portion I want to track goes off the screen at the beginning and the end, I start tracking in the middle. Take your X blind tool and then just draw a mask around the portion you want to track. Right click to close the spline when you're happy with it. Click track forwards and then when that's finished, go back to the middle and click track backwards. reasonably happy with that track but I'm not going to do it perfectly anyway just so you can get the idea and then come down here to export tracking data and we need there's loads of options but we want this one that supports mock import click save, save that as a text file as I said, I've already done it, so I'm going to overwrite it. And back into After Effects. Now I've got an image here that I'm just going to put right where that clock face is. But first of all, I'll highlight the, the clip we just tracked. And click Load. And then just find the set layer two. It's just going to ask you to confirm that that's the track you actually tracked. Clip you actually tracked. Sorry. Click OK. And then highlight the image and click Apply. Now you've got corner pin which is the the bog standard corner pin in After Effects CC power pin which is the one I'm going to use red giant warp corner pin if you've got that installed and that one as well we're going to use or I'm going to use CC power pin turn the image back on and as you can see it's, it's there but it's not right yet what we need to do, we've got the CC power pin. Now, what you could do is use these controls to line it up and then keyframe it on every single frame, which would take fucking hours. Or you could just make another copy of CC power pin. Or if it is distort power pin and put the second power pin above the first. Now start lining it all up and beauty of this is you only have to do it on the first frame and then everything will stay where it should let's 
get it all lined up so you're happy with it. just the basics of tracking a mocker and bringing that corner pin data into After Effects so we can put something on something that isn't supposed to be there as you can see it stays there pretty much perfectly let's watch it properly oh, that's pretty good So I say. Right, well, I hope this has been some use to you. Uh, next one I'm going to be doing is, which will probably be a bit better than this one, but foundry camera tracker, three D camera solver. So yeah, I hope that's been some help to you. If it hasn't, then tough shit. But if it has, then thank you very much. And I'll speak to you soon.